Welcome to Sandwich Sunday. I am your host, Chef Brian Sow. This is the show where we make awesome sandwiches inspired by the most unlikely of places. Today, we're featuring Ryan Tuck O'Leary. He's the bass player of Fit For A King, vocalist of Off-Road Minivan, entrepreneur, podcaster, and guess what? We got him here today. Yeah. How you doing? Now, before I go on with today's episode, I do want to remind you that my new web store, Together With Downright Merch, is officially open for business and pre-orders end tomorrow. Every item that you pre-order enters you in for an opportunity to have your very own episode of Sandwich Sunday. That's right. I pick someone at random and they get an awesome sandwich combination inspired by you. Second prize winner gets a $25 gift certificate that can be used on any item in the entire Downright Merch web store. And even if you don't win any of those, everyone who pre-orders gets a shout out on a future episode of Sandwich Sunday. I greatly appreciate everyone who's placed an order so far. It really means so much to me. Guys, thank you very much. And without further interruption, let's get on with the show. I got Ryan Tuck O'Leary here a Fit for a King. What? I'm ready to eat some sandwiches. <laughs> you don't want to see me dance, you want sandwiches. Dude, no, we can dance. Like, <laughs> here, let's do a wave together. All right, let's do a wave. I'm, ter I'm, I'm terrible at this, though. We're cracking open a beer. This is gonna be, cheers. Cheers, buddy. This is more of a hang. This is probably gonna make it very difficult in editing later. Sorry, Jordan. Hello, Jordan. Um, if you see Jordan. <laughs> I'm gonna start making a marinara sauce. In your questionnaire, you mentioned that you're from the Poughkeepsie area. Yeah. So tell me about Poughkeepsie and what it's like growing up there. While he tells us about that, I'm going to small dice one onion. So I grew up in a small town called Red Hook that was literally had like two lights in it. So we never had concerts or anything, but it was about 30 minutes away from Poughkeepsie. And that's where all the shows really were going on. The top local bands at the time when I was a kid were like Coed and Cambria and this band Just Surrender, and they would play there all the time. Mincing up about 12 cloves of garlic here. It smells so good. Oh. Yeah, it was just really fun. Lots of cool bands that were always in, in town and doing stuff. Um, so I went to school in that general area, specifically Hyde Park, New York, which is basically... Right off Route 9. Yeah, right, up, right off of Route 9. We got our onions, we got our garlic in the pan. My trusty old wok. Best type of pan you can have on earth, a non-stick wok. We're gonna get this onto our electric burner. By the way, can we curse on this? Show? Yeah, yeah, you can curse okay. as much as you want. Wow, it smells so good. Garlic, onions, extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. We're gonna put a little bit of salt just to help sweat it. Onions and garlic are translucent. We're gonna put some white wine. What? About a third of a cup. And we're gonna reduce that by half. You know, everyone else has gotten to see you make them a sandwich. I get to eat this. Eat this. Yes. You know? San Marzano tomatoes. You're gonna make marinara sauce. You have to use San Marzano tomatoes. We got our San Marzano tomatoes in there. Onion, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of salt. I'm gonna throw a bay leaf in there. We're gonna put this on the back burner because it needs to cook for about an additional 20 minutes or so. Like August Burns Red. Huh? They have a song called Back Burn. Yeah, there you go. They must really like cooking. There you go. Our, in our August Burns Red marinara sauce. Like hey, JB, why did you name that song Back Burner? Do you guys like to cook food? <laughs> August Burns Red's my favorite band. Come see Fit for a King out on tour with August Burns Red, Era, and Like Monster Flames this fall. But this is called a Dutch Crunch Roll Ooh. and is my favorite bread of choice. I do make this myself. You made this yourself? Yes. I started, wow. I started in baking and pastry, so we're going to cut this in half. I've already fried off some chicken cutlets. But if you want to see how I made these, uh, watch the Brendan Small episode. This is that same recipe. Um, so it has the seasoned flour into the egg wash and then into the seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. Cool. Deep fried, lay down a generous portion of these chicken cutlets. I should have requested gabagool for this sandwich. What is gabagool? It's um, prosciutto. Oh, yeah. did you now? Did you want gabagool? We're, we are making a chicken cutlet sandwich, but we're making a... How did that just happen? <laughs> <laughs> we are making a pumped up version of a chicken parmesan sandwich with gabagool. Don't make a Sopranos joke unless you want it to actually come to real life. Right. So let's, uh, here, you want to help me with this? Dude, yeah, help me with the gabagool. 
Yes, sir. Put on as much as you want. There we go. Gabagool. Do you want to split a slice? Yeah, I did split a slice. Right. Cheers. Cheers. And the cold cuts don't end here. We're well, going to put on... We got a bunch of pepperoni. Pepperoni. Let's lay down some pepperoni. I'll let you finish off the pepperoni. There we go. Oh, yeah, pepperoni. We're going to put some Leone's fresh mats. Mm. Mozzarella. <laughs> This is, we do a sandwich goes ASMR and just start getting real weird. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to add on <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, it's the same. Oh, my goodness. Look how crispy that roni is. Look, look at this, guys. Look at this. Come here, Ryan. Well, let's see. Uh, dude, are you seeing the Are you seeing the That's a beautiful thing. That is super hey. important. Oh. So what I like to do with my top bun is hollow it out. So, so I can fit more shit. What I feel is very important for any type of cooking. If, if you want to instantly make your cuisine, your food, your cooking at home, one notch up. If you want to step up your game, use fresh herbs. I'm going to have you help me pick the basil while I grab some fresh parsley. Okay. We've got good stuff. Only the best on this show. Fresh herb, couple sprigs of thyme. This is where we're gonna use some dry herbs. There we Dried go. Dried oregano, let's put that on there. Well, there we go. I'm, with, I'm so excited. Extra virgin olive oil, uh, red wine vinegar. There we go. Very important. Uh, nice. That was a good one. That was a good one. Wow. Now we're gonna put on some marinara sauce and we're gonna be messy with this. Let it drip all over the place. Let it go nuts. Fresh Parmesan, none of that jarred stuff. None of that canned stuff. Fresh shaved Parmesan. Just look at it hit the sauce. Ah. It's getting ready to dance all the way to our mounds. We got a heaping mound of fresh Parmesan. <laughs> How about you cut it in half, my friend? Oh, wow. Yes. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Use the knife. Use the knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Great. I just was scared. I don't want to hurt it. Ooh. We're going to split this open. Let everyone in America, in the world, see the inside of the sandwich. Show it to the upper cam. Look at that. Be jealous. Let's take a bite for the camera. Oh, dude. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm mm. That's a serious strip of hard. That's so good. What'd you say? <laughs> I made sure to put in a little extra white wine for acidity. I wanted to really attack the chicken parm and not correct, that's, that's, that's not the right yeah. word, but I wanted to elevate it a little bit. You know, the other thing that's a really nice touch was the red wine vinegar mm. on top. Never had that on chicken parm before. Bonkers. There's been some good things that have happened since getting to see people again. <laughs> this might be better than getting married. <laughs> All right, Ryan, well, we got to chow down on some sandwiches. You are the first hang of Sandwich Sunday. Thank you so much for coming by. But before we go, let everyone know what you've been up to and what's going on. Fit for a King. We're going back out on tour, playing a couple shows in like Indiana, in Ohio, and some other places uh, in like two weeks, just like four shows. Then we're going back out on tour with August Burns Red, Era, like Mazda Flames, all of September and October. Don't miss it, it's in every major city. If you're one of those idiots who goes, oh, you haven't come to Baltimore in a while. You're an idiot, it's there. <laughs> Go, buy your tickets, it's gonna be really fun. Go to FeaturedX.com, work with your favorite singer, guitar player, bassist, drummer, whatever. Write songs with them, have them sing on your stuff. It's really cool, it's there for you, it's fun. Uh, listen to Get Talk, the greatest, most screamo podcast you've ever heard in your live stars. Leave me a nice review and give me five stars because I'm a five star man. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, guys. Right. <laughs> Ryan, thank you so much for coming. Such a pleasure. This thank was so a much. lot of fun. Uh, I think uh, I think we made a really freaking awesome sandwich. Uh, you made a really awesome sandwich. Well, thank you for the inspiration. And guys. Until the next episode of Sandwich Sunday, I'm Chef Brian Sal, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon. <laughs>